Today, I am going to solve a problem on resolution of ketone. Here is the problem. Among these four reagents, which one can be used for the resolution of 3-methyl cyclohexanone? This is the structure of 3-methyl cyclohexanone. It is a racemic mixture. It has both or and yes, plus or minus in 50-50. What is resolution? It is separation of or and yes from receiving mixture. Diastomers can be separated by column chromatography, but enantiomers cannot be separated by column chromatography. So how can we separate them? The technique, whatever we use is kinetic resolution. In this method, we add a chiral reagent. So this reagent is chiral, which reacts with only one stereoisomer predominantly to give the product. The product will be chiral. The other isomer will be left as such. And it becomes chiral. In this, we add only 50% of the chiral reagent. I can say 0.5 equivalent. If you take one mole of this, 0.5 mole of this reagent you have to add. That 0.5 mole will react with 0.5 mole of this to give the product and the remaining will be as such but it will be optically pure. So one enantiomer is more reactive towards the chiral reagent and the other one is less reactive. Since we have added only 0.5 equivalent, the highly reactive isomer form the product. Now, you can separate them by column chromatography since they are entirely different and you can get pure compound. Now let us go to the problem. The given compound, it is 3-methylcyclohexanone. The functional group, it is ketone. Now we have to find out which of these reagents will react with a ketone functionality. 1,3-diol cannot react with ketone. Acid cannot react with ketone, but 1,2-diol can react. In fact, 1,2-diol is the protecting group for ketone. If you remember, ethylene glycol is the protecting group for ketone. Ethylene glycol and cyclohexanone in the presence of paratolivine sulfonic acid what you get is this compound. Basically ethylene glycol it is 1 to diol. It reacts with ketone to give ketone. So this is 1 to diol and this will react. What about this? It is not 1 to diol. It is phenol. It cannot form ketone like this. So the answer is 3. They have given 3 methyl cyclohexanone. They have not given 2 methyl cyclohexanone. That is this compound. They have not given this compound. The reason is 
the protection and deprotection is carried out in the presence of acid to deprotect this further we add paratoluene sulfonic acid and we get back so for both protection as well as deprotection we add acid compounds like this even though it is chiral if we add h plus it will enolize the h plus coordinates here so enolization occurs when it comes back the proton may be abstracted from the top as well as from bottom so what we get is racemic mixture the same thing may happen in the presence of base also when i add a base the base abstracts this proton and the enolization occurs then when it takes proton we get racemic mixture so this kind of compounds will undergo racemization under acidic as well as basic condition the deprotection of ketol protection is carried out in the presence of acid suppose if there is a methyl group here then the deprotection will occur we will get this product but under the acidic condition it will racemize and will give racemic mixture that's why you cannot use this technique for the resolution of two methyl cyclohexanone when the methyl is in the third position even if there is enolization the chiral center is not affected that's why they have given three methyl 